There are a plethora of titans and kaiju that hail from Hollow Earth, but one of the most unique and obnoxiously scary denizens of the underground realm is the Shimada, a creature that resembles several plants and animals, and not in a way you'd expect. It was supposed to appear in Godzilla vs. Kong, but remained unused. There's enough speculation that it will appear in Godzilla x Kong, and that's reason enough for us to explore this magnificently marvelous monstrosity. So, without wasting any more time, let's get straight down to business. Inspiration now, most of the creatures that we've seen in the Hollow Earth are based on one specific naturally existing real-life creature. Yeah, they may have certain traits from other creatures, but the base animal is just one. What I mean is, if you look at Hollow Earth denizens like Bramble Boars, Scare Buffaloes, or Mother Longlegs, etc., you'd notice that they are essentially based on a boar, a buffalo, and a spider, respectively. However, the Shimada is not really based on any particular organism and the base genome is in fact a mix of many animals. This was the route that Ken Barthelme chose to take while designing Shimada. However, when he initially described Shimada, he went on to say that the Titan was actually a cross between a deep sea fish and a giant shrimp. Now, while the creature does resemble a shrimp, at least as far as its torso is concerned, it also has features of a carnivorous plant like the Venus flytrap and naked mole rats. In fact, Director Adam Wingard was of the opinion that Shimada could actually use its mouth to set traps like a carnivorous plant. I'll explain how in just a bit. If you look at Shimada, you'd find that it has a very alien appearance, and that's because creature designer Bartholomew drew the concept art of Shimada as a larva or the first stage of a much bigger titan. You know, something like the facehugger or a chestburster who grows into a full-fledged xenomorph much later. Lastly, I think it's important to mention that most of the Hollow Earth creatures have one element or the other that are inspired by Godzilla. You could say that all the creatures from Hollow Earth may have evolved from a common ancestor that closely resembled Godzilla. Likewise, Shimada's gills and neck are pretty similar to those of Godzilla. Appearance I've already mentioned that the Shimada has several inspirations, but the most important of these are Naked Mole Rat, Carnivorous Plants, shrimp insects. Let's talk about the first one. So, its main body looks like the body of a naked mole rat with hints of an insect larva. You know, it's kind of pale and cylindrical in shape. Next, the head of the creature looks pretty much like a carnivorous plant that opens up and attracts unsuspecting insects and even rodents with vibrant colors and sweet smells. Once the prey is safely inside the trap, the plant shuts the leafy trap before dissolving and digesting the prey. Now, this head also reminds me of the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Speaking of which, Millie Bobby Brown stars in Stranger Things as well, and I believe the next season has started filming. How many of you are excited about it? Let me know in the comments. Moving on, the outer texture of Shimada is quite reminiscent of a shrimp, especially if you compare the lower half of a shrimp's body. The overlapping plates of armor also give serious shrimp vibes. I'm not sure if you've seen anyone peel off the layers of a shrimp's exoskeleton, but that's what came to my mind when I looked at the creature's layered armor. Now, apart from its head, what makes it look truly alien is something fairly familiar. I'm talking about insectoid legs and arms. So, the creature has six small insect-like legs and two large insect-like arms. Adding to its horror factor are the scutes on the back that Shimada proudly shows off. As for the skin, it's pretty saggy with super floppy jowls. One feature that I found fairly intriguing is its eyes, which are extremely minuscule, which only suggests that it does not use its eyes a lot, and is a creature that prefers living underground and in darkness. So I'm sure it uses some senses apart from sight to move around. Personality Personality and abilities-wise, Shimada is a creature that burrows, kind of like a giant-ass rodent. It obviously sets traps with the flower-like mouth, so what it does is that it submerges most of its body underground and only its mouth is on the surface, and much like a carnivorous plant, it traps smaller prey in its mouth. The petal-like features of Shimada's mouth serve as effective camouflage and become one with the terrain. And when it comes across bigger prey, it uses its forelimbs to clutch the prey and to anchor itself on the ground. The only major physiological weakness that it has apart from its size seems to be its vulnerability to light and everything that comes with the surface. Having been designed to live its life underground, the creature really doesn't do well on the surface. Additionally, it's a reactive titan, so it only comes to the surface when it senses something, presumably some kind of tremble or tremor or vibrations caused by the movement of prey. 
Day. So that's all in this video about Shimida, the burrower of titans. It's a horrifyingly menacing creature that needs to be left alone, but on the kaiju meter, it's not really as deadly because of the weakness to farewell on the surface. Titans like Kong and Godzilla can easily bring it down without breaking a sweat. 